Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River Alpha Wolf, model 26RL. This particular trailer comes in at 7,220 pounds unloaded and is 34 feet 5 inches in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and we're going to talk about some of the awesome features on this opposing slide rear living couples unit. Let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside and we'll start in the living and kitchen area. So starting off in the living and kitchen area, first thing you'll notice is you have an island kitchen with dual opposing slides, which is something a lot of people are really looking for these days. Um, the the big thing with these opposing slides is it gives you a very expansive living area and if you're gonna spend a lot of time at your destination this would be a great option for you um, just because you have tons of room um, which is again really nice. As you can see, you have all these zebra shades and all the windows are on your campsite side. You're not looking out at the neighbors, which is something a lot of people really like. Um, I know I sure do. And you can notice all the blue LED accent lights up top on the slide out and then and again, or again in the entertainment center. Um, I'll go ahead and turn these off um, for now but as we look over here again you've got the zebra shades the cool thing about these is these are a light filtering blind so you can lend in as much or as little light as you want right here you have a freestanding table and chairs that is the standard arrangement on this floor plan. Um, I believe a booth dinette is available. Um, it'd be a two bench dinette if you went that way, but I think most people are gonna prefer this, um, the freestanding table and chairs in this uh, floor plan specifically. If we get in a little closer here, you can see that this does have the simulated uh, live edge on the table there which is this piece here how it kind of has that waterfall look to it and as you can see this is a really good shot of this um, but you have two full-time chairs which are on the right and then two foldable chairs which are on the left which is really nice and there is chair uh, storage in the two full-time chairs which is nice Moving back a little bit, you can see that you have your theater seats here. These are going to have the heat, massage, and lighted cup holders provided that you're plugged in to 110 volt power. I'm just running off of battery power today, so I can't show you what those look like. But again, these are the recliners. Uh, you do have the two cup holders here in the middle and then remote storage right there. On the back wall, if we take a look back here, you'll notice this is a tri-fold sleeper sofa. And that will turn into a pretty good sized bed that can sleep two adults. You can also notice that you have side stands with that live edge countertop on both sides. That is a pressed membrane thermofoil style countertop, which is really nice. It, that way if you spill a drink or if your drink sweats, it's not going to hurt anything like it would a tea molded countertop. Again, household and USB outlets on both sides, and you notice the wall sconces um, and extra LED lights there. If we take a seat at the theater seats, this is directly across from the entertainment center. So you'll notice that big metal bracket in between uh, where that blue light is. 
um, that when you see the metal bracket that tells you that this unit has the TV option in it so this TV when we built it uh, was optioned in with the 39 inch LED TV you can get it without the TV if you don't really care about that but most people that want this floor plan I think would prefer a TV in it you're also going to have your 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace. That is another optional piece of equipment. Um, we, may, we actually made the mistake of bringing in one of these one time without the fireplace, and it sat forever. So um, a fireplace in this floor plan is a very, very nice feature. And then if we come up here just a little bit closer, you can see there's your AM, FM, and Bluetooth sound system. That has HDMI and USB plugs and will control the interior and out or an exterior speakers on this trailer, which is really nice. So if you want to add a Blu-ray player, DVD CD player, you're all set up to be able to do that. As part of the stereo system, you do have a 200 watt subwoofer, which is really nice. Um, this thing sounds awesome whenever um, whenever you get it uh, cranked up all the way as high as the subwoofer will go. Um, and I encourage you, if uh, the dealership you're looking at, whether it's me or, some, or Dealer X, um, if they have the juice pack on or one of these plugged in, ask them if you can turn on the stereo. Because, man, I tell you, it sounds awesome. If we look down at the floor, you'll notice that you have no heat vents in the flooring. These are going to have cabinet ducted heating, which you can see on the bottom left corner of that island. You can kind of see it right there. It's hard to really pick it up since that is a dark colored island and a dark colored vent there. Which is really nice. That way you don't have any pet hair or anything falling into the vents in the flooring. Um, well, this doesn't have it, so you don't really have to worry about that. And and then if we look up top here, you will notice that you do have a standard 15,000 BTU Coleman Q series air conditioner. The nice thing about that, it is the quietest AC that I'm aware of on the market today. Um, it's You don't have to pay extra for it too, which is really nice. Um, and then the other kind of nice thing about it is it's going to keep your uh, coach cooled a little more efficiently. For some reason, the Coleman's are just slightly more efficient than, say, a Dometic, which is something that I think a lot of people are... Um, or that a lot of people really like. Last couple things here before we move on to the storage. Here's your main control panel. So up here you have your electric side of your water heater switch. You're going to have your tank monitoring panel, your water pump and water heater on gas switches, some lighting controls, and your slide outs and awning controls. You're also going to have your voltage meter for the juice pack solar option. So basically this tells you how much juice is left in your battery, which is really nice. And then if we look down here, um, you'll notice that here's where your breakers and fuses are. It's really easy to get to. Um, that way, I can't tell you how many times manufacturers will put the breakers and fuses where you can't get to them if the slide outs are in. And then right here you've got your thermostat for your main AC and your prep for your LCI one control hotspot which is pretty cool. Um, side note on this control panel. This, you can Bluetooth this to your phone if you want to via the LCI One Control app. And the nice thing about
about that is let's say you're in the mountains and you need to be able to see if your driver's side slide out is going to hit any of the trees if you're camping in you know in a campground that's in the woods well with this app you can stand outside of the trailer without having to have somebody hit this switch over here and you can line of sight see that your slide out is either going to hit the trees and you have to move the camper over slightly or that it's going to clear just fine which is pretty cool i absolutely love that and then this sticker here is for the lci insight wireless backup camera observation system which is pretty cool and i'll talk a little bit more about that on the outside all right guys that's going to wrap it up for the living and kitchen area or really the living area let's go ahead now and we'll open up all of this storage in this kitchen and we'll take a look at uh, the kitchen in a little more detail and we'll see what you think because I tell you this has a deceptively good kitchen um, it doesn't at first appear like it has as much storage as it really does so let's go ahead and we'll crack open this storage and we'll see what you think all right guys, so I've got all the storage opened up and I wanna go ahead and start back here over the sofa. So as you can see, if we lift this up, you'll notice good extra storage. That will go all the way across. Um, I would like to see some strut supports on here from the factory, just so you don't have to juggle it while you're trying to put things in and out of here or get things in and out of here. Um, I'd also like to know, you know, what. If you could change one thing about this trailer, what would you change? Um, leave that down in the comment section below. Um, you'd be surprised how often uh, feedback from you as customers can get back to the factory and change these products. It, um, they really love your feedback too. So back behind the TV, you've got all kinds of storage space. Um, is it a little inconvenient to get to? Maybe, but I think a lot of people would prefer to have the storage than not have it. Um, I've never had a person, or a customer I should say, trade in a trailer for having too much storage and too much countertop space. So every little, basically my point is every little bit of storage matters. So over here you've got your pantry, so you've got a big open space down there at the floor and then two shelves for all of your dry goods, which is a really nice feature um, and you'll notice all of the shelves don't come there the shelves don't come all the way here so if you want to put in a broom or a Swiffer or a little cordless vacuum or something they give you the space to be able to do that which is really nice and in case you weren't wondering where the pantry was they go ahead and put it on the door for you and I say that jokingly but um, apparently <laughs> they think somebody may uh, forget where the pantry is or something. So over here in the island, you'll notice that's a nice long island. It's also an asymmetrical island. And what I mean by that is the sink is on that side and you have all this countertop space here. Um, and we'll talk more about the sink here in a minute. I do want to mention back over here, you can see, well, where are they? There they are. You have household and USB outlets on the face of the island, which is really nice. Um, so if you're gonna set up an electric griddle or something, you have the space to be able to do that. You're gonna have three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers here. The top one does have the silverware outlet, which is, or not outlet, divider, which is nice. Let me go ahead and close those up so they're kind of out of the way. You've got another drawer here, which is really nice. And then if we look down here, you'll notice you have a pretty good amount of space down there for some pots and pans or things like that, which is really nice. Over here, if we pull back the sink cover, you'll notice you have a one piece farm style sink with the black stainless steel look and the apron you're going to have your high-rise spring-loaded faucet and the hand sanitizer station, um, which is really nice. That will fit any of your uh, dish soap size bottles, too, which is nice. And apparently, I'm struggling with that countertop cover. 
Again, this is all a pressed membrane thermofoil style countertop, which is really nice. If we drop down below, you'll notice a good amount of storage there, and it extends to the other side. You do have a little bit of plumbing in the way, but it still is a good amount of storage. If we spin back around, you've got a little cabinet up here. Again, the door flips up. I would really like to see strut supported hinges on there as well. Your hood range with a light and a fan. A little bit of extra countertop space with an easy reach plug. Perfect spot for a coffee maker, but there's also an even better one over the, uh, that I'll show you here in a minute. You've got your dual purpose cutting board and backsplash. That is held up by magnet uh, baggage door catches, which is pretty cool. You're also gonna have your three burner cooktop with the glass cover. The front one is high output, so if you're up in the mountains, that's the burner you'll wanna use. And then you've got the lighted control knobs and an oven down below in case you wanna do some baking. Uh, cool thing with this oven and stove combo is this far switch here will spark the oven as well as the stove, which is pretty cool. That way you, you don't have to light that pilot light with a, um, with a lighter or a fireplace match. If you've had a older camper, you know exactly what I'm talking about and how much of a pain it is to do. Right here, you're going to have your 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. That's made by Canon and it's very similar to the Everchill that you see out there in some competing brands. Um, the cool thing about this, it cools down in a little over an hour and a half. It also uses three amps of power when it's down to temperature, nine to 10 amps of power when it's cooling. So you don't have to let it sit overnight, although it is a good idea to go ahead and do that. Um, but it, you know, if you're in a pinch, you don't have to. And this does not run off of propane, so it will run off your battery power or 110 power. Um, the nice thing about that, you can actually run this fridge going down, uh, going down the road it's where you can't run a gas electric fridge in a lot of cases anymore. Um, basically, the reason they're doing, or most states are doing that, is the fire risk. So over here, you're going to have a nice big countertop with household and USB outlets. Perfect spot for a coffee maker bar or taco bar or margarita bar, whatever you want to put here. Um, it's just great extra countertop space. So many brands leave this out, and that's why this one's a little heavier, a little longer than some competing brands. Um, for example, our 27 REI Salem is about a foot and a half shorter, which is about the width of this countertop. Down here, you've got good extra storage. This door here is actually a false door, so you can get to the back side of your water heater for winterization purposes and the back side of your furnace, so it makes it really easy to get to. Very well thought out by Alpha Wolf. And then up here, you've got another little cabinet. Great storage there. And then you've got your microwave over here next to that. So, like I said, it is a very deceptively good kitchen. Or, I don't even think that made any sense. It is a deceptively good kitchen. Um, it's got a ton of storage, tons of prep space. Even with the sink and the stove is still in use, you have a ton of prep space, which is so hard to find in a bumper pull. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and we'll jump up, we'll jump forward a little bit and we'll take a look at the bathroom and the master bedroom. And I tell you, for as good as this is, the bathroom and the bedroom do not disappoint either. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look and we'll see what you think. All right, guys, so stepping up into the master bedroom and bathroom. First thing I do want to mention is you do have a dual entry bedroom, which we'll talk about in, in a little bit, and a dual entry bathroom, which is nice. So right here you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room around there if you're a little bit wider in the hips. Um, and there's plenty of leg room if you're a little bit taller like I am. If we look up top, you will notice that you have a nice Ultra Breeze Max Air type fan. I forget exactly what brand it is, but 
Um, this is a whole house vent fan, so if you open a couple of windows and turn this thing on, you get a nice breeze going through here. Right here you've got a nice neo-angle shower. You can be upwards of 6'4-ish and still shower in here comfortably. I'm 6'2 and I still have plenty of room. Um, again, plenty of room on either side there. It is the larger neo-angle shower. If we spin back around this way, you've got a nice corner medicine cabinet. Plenty of room there with the mirror. You're also going to have a GFI protected outlet and a motion sensor light. Huge sink with good countertop space on both sides. And a little bit more storage down there as well. And then if we come over here, you have a nice shelf down there. And if we open this cabinet up here and we pan up, you will notice you have good linen closet storage here for all of your bathroom necessities. So we come up here, you'll notice household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed in the bedroom. You've got windows on both sides. This one opens. The one over on this side does not. Um, I would really like to see that window open too. Over here, you're going to have a TV backer location with cable and power. So if you want to add a TV there, you can. Hanging closets on both sides of the bed. You've got storage up top here. Again, I would really like to see strut supported cabinets here. AC and heat in here. And this is a 60 by 74 camper queen bed. So it is a short queen. Um, that's one area I think they could do a little bit better was maybe lengthen the trailer, I don't know, six inches and put in an RV or in a residential queen. But that's just me. And then up top here, this is where your second AC could go. Um, so this is a 50 amp camper with the second AC prep, which is really nice. Um, this camper does need a second AC in our opinion most of the time, but some people don't necessarily want to pay for a second AC. So um, we kind of leave it up to the customer themselves. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of this 2021 and a half Alpha Wolf model 26 RL. Now let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the outside and we'll take a quick tour around it and we'll see what you think. We'll see you back on the outside right about yeah. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this brand new 2021 and a half Alpha Wolf model 26 RL. So as you can see, we'll start up front here. You have a nice three quarter fiberglass front cap with the blue LED docking lights, as you can see there. You're also going to have a power tongue jack, two 20 pound propane tanks, a group 27 series battery, which is part of the juice pack. So that is a 50 watt solar panel, your battery disconnect, that voltage meter I showed you inside, um, again, the battery and the panel itself, which is pretty cool. And the charge controller that goes with it. Right up here is your front storage compartment. We'll take a look at that from the out other side. And one thing Cherokee does really well, is you can see down there, that big white valve, that is actually the drain for your fresh tank. So it's a nice big inch and a half valve. So it's going to drain your fresh tank a lot uh, easier. If we look up underneath here, you have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly, as you can see right there. And then right here is going to be your termination valves. Your gate valves are actually up in the underbelly, so they're going to be heated, which is really nice. So you've got the extended handles. Right here is going to be your main hookup area. So you've got your outside shower, a handy little light, your fresh water, city water, black tank flush, and cable and satellite connections. So they're all in one spot, easy to get to. Right over here is going to be the back side of your furnace and the back side of your water heater. And of course you can see here's your other slide out. Good looking aluminum wheels. Those are actually really sharp. This vent here is the stove exhaust, so just keep that in mind. 
And then right here you have a little bit of extra storage. So plenty of room there um, for some odds and ends. This would be a perfect place for your power cord water, and water hose. These are held up by magnets and they are slam latches, which is pretty cool. Right here is gonna be your 50 amp service. You're also going to have a rear rack. This is rated at 200 pounds before the spare tire, so keep that in mind. And if we go ahead and pan up, you'll notice that you have the backup camera back here. So instead of going back around that way and risk getting cut up by the barbed wire, because that would be very bad, I'm gonna go back around the front here. So just bear with me. So if we come back over here and we back up just a hair, let's see if I can knock back into something. So as you can see here, you have two power awnings. Those are gonna have the LED light strips in both of them. And I love that they went to this instead of the previous version, which had the awning going over the slide out because you get so much more patio space this way. And of course, I never get to have awnings out because it's always windy, but these are the easy adjust ones so that they just pitch down um, once you undo this handle and everything, which is really nice, really easy to use. If we come back over here into the back corner, right down here, you'll see your rear electric stabilizer jacks. So this has the power stabilizer jack option. Manual stabilizer jacks are available as well. That is the standard. Uh, and you can see your propane hookup down there for an exterior grill if you want to add one. Right here, you're going to have your TV uh, bracket location for the outside. Two outside speakers, your 110 outlet, as well as cable connections. And then again, here is a good look at those aluminum wheels. Uh, these have the 5 plus 2 plus 1 tire warranty from... Lion's Head, West or West Lake Lion's Head, it says five years against defects, two years roadside assistance, and 12 months no questions asked replacement guarantee on your tires. The Yava Wolves are also going to have a PVC or a one piece PVC roof membrane. So, what that's going to do for you, that uh, reflects about 20 to 25 percent more UV rays, which is going to keep your trailer uh, at least 15 to 20 degrees cooler for the roof area. Um, that also has a 20 year defect warranty, which is pretty cool. You can also see you've got the larger entry assist handle, three step more ride step above steps. You're also gonna have the friction hinge door. Um, this particular trailer was built with a shortage of those really slick black glass doors. So this has a standard fiberglass door with the window. So just keep that in mind. Over here you've got your leash latch and your power stabilizer jack controls right underneath it. That's kind of an odd place for that. Arctic Wolves are also, or not Arctic Wolf, Alpha Wolf is same thing, um, long story. But these are going to have a two inch thick sidewall which is the same thing as like your big luxury Montana fifth wheels which is really nice. And then up in here you've got your pass through storage. Notice how clean and finished off it is. You're going to have motion sensor lights on both sides. That black box is your solar charge controller. And then you have your battery disconnect right there. Again, slam latches, magnet holdbacks, which is really nice. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2021 and a half Forest River Alpha Wolf model 26RL. If you're interested in this trailer and you have any questions, or if you'd like pricing and availability, please leave me a comment down below. You can also uh, give me a call at 806-335-2336, or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. If you could do me a quick favor, hit that like button down below. That lets us know how we're doing. And also, please, feel free to consider subscribing down below. That's going to keep you up to date with all of our new videos. We've got some really cool stuff coming in. 
here in the next few months. Um, and it'll also keep you up to date. It'll give you notifications whenever we go or we post new videos. Again, guys, remember at Custom RV, we don't do hidden feeler. Hidden feeler? <laughs> That's funny. Again, remember at Custom RV, we don't do hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again very soon.